So we've got something a little bit different for you today. Um, I'm a big fan of a landscape photographer called Ben Horn. Um, some of you may know Ben's work, some of you may not. So if you don't, Ben is a landscape photographer who shoots eight by 10 large format film. And every year he goes on these dedicated landscape photography trips and he documents them and creates video journals, or as you kids call them these days, vlogs and he uploads them to YouTube and he has done since like 2009 or something like that I think his first videos are so he's been in the game for a long time. I was fortunate enough to be in Death Valley and Zion at the same time as Ben when he was on one of his trips. Now although we didn't shoot together he was kind enough to let me sit down and chat to him and pick his brains about his experiences on this trip. So if you enjoy Ben's work, and if you don't, you probably will, you should watch this video. And yeah, enjoy me in conversation with Ben Horn. We're in Zion. We are. We are in Zion. Now, um, I wanted to talk to you because you're by far my favorite YouTube photographer mm -hmm. and um, you come to Zion and Death Valley every year and have them for a while. Oh yeah, about 10 years now I've been going to Death Valley and Zion, actually about the same, 10 years about 10 that, years. yeah. So now on this uh, winter trip, we've, we've actually been sharing a campsite together uh, in Death Valley and in Zion. Mm -hmm. uh, cause that's my tent just over there, but we haven't actually been shooting together. Yeah. So we kind of, we, we go out in the morning, sep do our own separate thing, and then we, we might see each other in the evening um, and then sleep. So I haven't had an opportunity to talk to you about the trip. So yeah. I thought, let's do it on camera. Perfect. <laughs> it was a good, time. good time, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's start with Death Valley. That was, uh, that was certainly a very interesting trip. Uh, in all the years I've gone there, I've never had the conditions that we had yeah. on that trip. And let's just, just for people that don't know you and don't know your channel, you're a large format 10 yeah. by eight film photographer. Yeah. Um, I struggled and I'm digital. Um, basically, yeah, in Death Valley, it just rained all day. Yeah. For, for, the first, for the first day, we first had- First day, it just rained and then there's a, a little bit of breaks here and there, but I mean, things are moving around. It's, it's hard to shoot in those conditions. Um, I don't have a weather sealed camera. <laughs> so, Last time I shot film was in the snow and I really struggled. So how did you manage in the rain? And it was, it was torrential yeah, rain Yeah, it was an day. actual like real rain, not like a Death Valley yeah. mystery. It was a real rain. Yeah, it wasn't even in a shower. Yeah. It was just a rainy day. Yeah, I have a, the dark, same dark cloth I use to kind of like see the ground glass on the back of the camera. I just throw that over the whole camera, put my Lee hood on the front of it, kind of wrap it around there. And you can kind of work under there. It's kind of, kind of comfortable actually, but it's all the other stuff, the, the lenses and stuff have to kind of sit out on the ground. And that stuff just kind of gets wet, and it was it was a challenge. And I have no clue if I actually got anything from the times when it was raining that'd be decent. But when I get the film back, there might be a surprise, good, bad. I don't know, but it was it was a challenge. It really was. So for me, it's been an awesome trip. Death Valley was amazing, and not what I expected. I was expecting blue skies, dry, arid conditions. We've yeah. got gray skies, rain, mist, fog. It was Every, humid. Everything. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was just like the UK, actually. Yeah, it was yeah you brought that weather along with you. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, for me, it was, it was awesome. Uh, and then we moved to Zion, and, and Zion's difficult, and we'll talk about that after. Yeah. But what about day two in Death Valley? Now, now, day two for you, which day was that? Oh, no. Day one was rain. Day one, so... Day two is cloud inversion. Ah, uh, the inversion, yes, yes. That was day three for me. Oh, by the way, again, for people that don't know you, you film, you, you create video journals of all of your shoots and your yeah. trips. So much, very similar to what I do. Yeah. Um, and you've been doing that for a very long time. So you can actually go and check out Ben's channel here. All of the videos that Ben's talking about will probably be uploaded. They're going to be with, delayed. Yeah. A little bit. I don't know the, when this is yeah. going. I don't know. But let's say a couple of weeks from when this is uploaded. So they will be there at two some or point. three weeks. But yeah. yeah just, just subscribe to his channel. And then if you subscribe, <laughs> you'll see them come up. Oh, sure. Um, yeah. So you've probably already seen my videos. So you'll have an idea of what we're talking about. But to see it from Ben's perspective will be interesting. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Yeah. So the, the cloud inversion. So that was, I mean, we woke up. And I remember opening up my tent and turning on my headlamp and I just see fog, which 
I've never seen in Death Valley before. It was like these like big droplets too. It wasn't just like a normal fog. And so uh, you had the idea that maybe this was an inversion. And so I uh, ended up heading up top to Dante's view where you can get a, when you're at 5,000 feet, you're looking down over the whole thing. And sure enough, there yeah. was an inversion. And this was before sunrise. You said, you said, I'm going to up to Dante's view for the yeah. inversion. And I was like, oh, I don't really just want to look like I'm following you. Yeah. So I went down into the valley and I was sat in my car. It was dark. I had my headlights on and a torch and I went for a walk and I couldn't see a single thing. Oh yeah, it was you thick. Couldn't, you couldn't, and Death thick. Valley isn't one of those places where you can shoot, you know, there's no trees, for example, that would work well in the fog. Yeah, it's just barren landscape yeah. and fog. Yeah. yeah. So, I, so I would have taken a white photograph, just, just grey. Um, so I turn around and what Dante's view <laughs> went <laughs> then. Uh, uh, but even, even still, I think I don't feel like I made the most of it, um, if I'm honest. I think I was kind of overwhelmed by the whole thing. Um, I, I, w- I mean, I was as well. Yeah, I would, I would struggle, well, not always, but in situations like that, when you know that the light's going to go really quickly, you know, I'm filming, I'm, I'm taking photographs, I'm juggling a lot of things, and that's where I struggled, and probably why, you know, where my regret comes from, that I didn't take more images, but you've been a large format, you must have to be so decisive. Well, it's, it's, I went to an area I'd taken a picture of in the past, so I kind of had a feeling for the lay of the land, and the struggle for me is trying to set up my camera in the dark. Because when it's really dark, I can't see anything on the ground glass. So I have to kind of like guess on things. So I got things kind of set up. And I only really had one composition I could do. Because I use my wide angle lens. There's some mountains down below, the cloud inversion, the mountains, some high clouds that kind of lit up at sunrise. I placed a grad filter kind of blindly and <laughs> I- I'm hoping I got it right. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see in a few weeks when people see your video. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so Death Valley, we moved on from Death Valley to Zion. Now Zion for me is a quite a unique place because it's topsy turvy. Oh, you, yeah. you don't shoot at sunrise, you don't shoot at sunset. In fact, you shoot in the middle of the day. Yeah. And with Death Valley, you have predictable light, so you got sunrise, sunset, and you know, yeah. Open spaces. Midday, you're just kind of scrambling around trying to find what you're going to shoot the next time. Yeah. yeah. But Zion's hard. Like you could spend years. Well, you have. And I have. Yeah. <laughs> and still not see everything and find new things. Like my first day in Zion, spent the entire day just walking. I didn't take any photographs. I was just yeah. looking for subjects uh, because the light moves. You have good light here at one time, then the light moves to here and here, and it's all it's all over the place. And it it's you, it can have you running around like a headless chicken. That's exactly what I've been doing for a long time yeah. here. <laughs> So how, it's a good workout, I'll, I'll say that. How was it for you? Um, people have seen my videos, so I don't want to talk about me, but I want to talk about your experience in Zion yeah. this year and if it lived up to previous trips. Winter is always interesting here in Zion because you have the, the cottonwoods that look really beautiful. So I was kind of focusing on trying to find some cottonwood trees to photograph. And I photographed two of them. And also there were some sort of frosty leaves and stuff I found over on the east side. So I did kind of a close up of that. Um, so I think that the stuff I was able to shoot this year, it's quite a bit different than stuff I've taken in previous years. And that's always my goal, because I don't want to just like shoot the same sort of photo over and over again. Yeah. And so I'm really hoping that those turn out. Um, of course, by the time this video goes live, yeah. maybe some You'll of know. that. Well, yeah, who knows? You yeah. might be watching this video cringing, going, why did I talk about that? I, I, I could very well, yeah, you never know. Did you have any mishaps? I, I did, I did. Uh, Yesterday, I was kind of scrambling around on these hillsides covered in like these maple leaves on the ground and uh, had my hands in my pockets kind of cold because I didn't have any gloves on. And uh, my foot started slipping out from under me, so I kind of pulled my hands out of my pocket and threw my car key somewhere. <laughs> and uh, gladly I found that. But then I, I fell back in my right hand, just like the only rock nearby. It's like this pyramid shaped rock, just square on top of it. And just Did you get it on camera? I didn't. No, no. It never happens that way. No. Kind of no. like the coyotes in Death Valley for you. Yeah, I got chased by a coyote, which apparently doesn't happen, but it, it definitely happened yeah. to me. Yeah, it's a shame I didn't get that on camera. But yeah, it's um, it's Zion's hard, and it makes you work for your image, but it's very rewarding. I think yeah. I've I've probably taken four, three, four, maybe five images, and I've as far as I can remember, there's only one or two that I'm really happy with. Yeah. The rest kind of like, they're good and I'm glad I shot them, but I'm not sure. So with you shooting film, you don't actually know for sure until you get the film back. So Correct, because you, you never know what can happen. Yeah, you know? 
if I was to ask you what your favourite shot of, let's say Zion. Yeah. As you say, you exposed three sheets. Uh, no, sorry, well, well three, 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 subjects. three subjects. Yeah. Um, I was focusing on kind of on cottonwood trees. There's one photo, and, and maybe it's because I think it's the one that might turn out cool that maybe it won't be the one that does, but it was like this uh, this cottonwood tree with another one that's like bleached out, just kind of like leaning up against it dead. It's kind of like it's like holding the other tree, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, another kind of cottonwood kind of on its side. And then uh, kind of an intimate landscape on the ground with some frosty leaves. And I put a, a maple leaf right in the middle. It's like perfectly <gasps> center comfort. I did it. You did, I did it. it. Oh, you've heard it here I, first. <laughs> I do that all the time. Yeah, yeah. Not to be fair. You, you have to kind of yeah. work those scenes a little bit. Sometimes it turns out perfect from nature, but you got to work with it a little bit yeah. for those shots. Yeah. Um, and Death Valley, what would you, if you had to pick one moment, one image? So I think, well, the, the inversion shot, I'm really hoping that one turned out. I mean, I shot a lot of sheets of film as that happened. Um, but then there was another photo I shot um, the next morning, which was a composition. I f it's a subject I found in the dark, which doesn't happen often. I set up the camera in the dark, and then the light was actually pretty good. It was pretty unique. There was a kind of a clouds that kind of built in at sunrise. It was something I really hadn't seen before. Did you, did you see the fog the, the next morning? Yeah. After, so not the, the day after the cloud inversion, there was this mist hanging in the valley. And it just expanded yeah, like crazy, yeah. and then and it was the light changed. As well, so yeah. So I, I have a shot of that and I used a, a normal lens of some sort of salt grasses in the foreground and some mountains in the background and that kind of foggy mist back there. So it looked really good to my eye, whether I was able yeah. to capture it, I will see. Yeah. That's always the challenge. Yeah. That's what I found on this trip. Stuff looks good for the eye. Doesn't always work as a photograph. Yeah, that happens. Right, well, I think that's it. I think you're heading home tomorrow morning. Yeah, I got my eight hour drive ahead of me tomorrow morning. Nice. Get back and take a shower. It's been a while. Yeah, no, same. <laughs> right, thank you so much. And until next time. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> awesome.